But it seems like all his most recent videos, Tall Guy's recent videos, are all being sponsored by Ridge Wallet. Like, it seems like he's only doing content when I guess it's being sponsored by Ridge Wallet or whatever. But uh, now he's saying, uh, real estate fired me, I give up. This is uh, 13 days ago. And then he dropped another one five days ago. I'm so sick and tired of this. And then in the uh, comment section, uh, my man went from car reviews to depressing videos. Wow. Bro's not focused, man. Shaking my head. Now I'm like, first of all, like, I thought he was doing trucking. Now he's uh, transitioning into real estate. Soon he's going to be uh, transitioning and becoming a pilot. Like, what is going on here? Um, but let's uh, read a couple more of these comments right here. Dude, I work in management, and I love your content. You're a good dude. This is just my manager expertise. The way you were explaining your criminal background to her sounded a bit aggressive. You started talking about having guns and these charges. I'm sure she was feeling uncomfortable. Don't do that again by telling her you know you have things on your record and expressing that you made changes in your life was good enough. They're going to do what they're going to do anyway. Uh, that's actually a pretty good comment because he was definitely saying a whole lot uh, and I'm sure they're they're able to find out anyway. Uh, so I kind of see where this comment is actually going. But, like, here's the thing. You don't really need a real estate license to do real estate investing. Like, I actually have several rental properties, and I don't have a real estate license. So I don't know, like, what is the big... What is the big deal about this real estate license? Like, why does he really need a real estate license to get started? You can get started by flipping, buying and flipping houses... Or doing rental properties. I mean, there is some benefit to having a rental license, of course, on the uh, commission side of things. But I mean, you can get started. There's many people that are very well off doing real estate without a real estate license. So I feel like it's just kind of an excuse or he's just doing this for content. Again, this is just my opinion because, I mean, we just noticed this already with the trucking and it seems like he kind of brushed it under the rug or whatever. And uh, here's another comment that actually goes along the same lines of what I was just talking about. I'm a realtor, and I just want to make sure you know you don't need a real estate license to do real estate. You might not be able to represent other people, but you can represent yourself. Most of the money is buying and selling or renting out. Build your uh, portfolio. Those cars are your few houses. Uh, he wants to sell multi-million dollar homes to get a six-figure commission. Somebody said, might need to start small, working his way up. It's hard to break into the game if you got a record. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much exactly what I was just talking about. Like, you don't need a real estate license. This is really for anybody that's watching and is interested in doing real estate. You don't need a real estate license to get started. Uh, you can have a realtor. Yeah, like I said, there is a few benefits, a couple different benefits with having the real estate license, but... It's not like, it's not a big deal. Like you can get started, you know, buying a property, you know, pref preferably a property that's, that needs some works, needs some love, needs some TLC, and then you fix it up and then you can rent it or flip it. I mean, there's so many things to do. Like I have several properties myself and they generate a passive income and I don't have a real estate license and many other people don't have a real estate license. So I don't know. I feel like he just, it's like an excuse or whatever, but I'm more interested in this whole trucking thing because about a year ago, he said that he was going to do trucking and starting this, like, trucking company or whatever. And uh, he did all these videos, unless it was just all for content. Like, didn't he drop this video right here a year ago? Dear YouTube, I quit. Um, I can't really see the entire title. I think it was actually this video. This is, like, 19 minutes, 43 seconds. It's the one on the left-hand side, right below the one of him, I guess, holding his CDL. Like, what happened to trucking? Like, when did he actually make the switch from trucking? I haven't been really watching his uh, channel all that much. But when did he uh, make that switch? Like, I actually think trucking, based on what I heard, actually makes more money. I mean, it's it's kind of like a little... Trucking actually involves, like, work. Like, you actually got to be out on the road. If you're going to be doing all the driving, of course, you have to be on the road. Whereas real estate, you know, it requires capital. You have to invest. You have to repair. Like I said, if you buy these properties, you got to fix them up. 
and then you rent them out and then it generates passive income. I mean, it's not like trucking. Like I said, trucking, you have to be out on the road. So it kind of, everything has its benefits, advantages and disadvantages. Um, but I'm like, I thought he was going to do trucking. He sat there on the sofa from what I remember with his brother and said he's starting a trucking company. So whatever happened to trucking? Like, do you guys know, like, wh wh which video was it where he decided, you know what, guys, I'm not going to do trucking anymore. I'm just going to do real estate. And now he says he can't do real estate. Or I guess they're still, like, going through some kind of, like, investigative process where they're looking at as a criminal record past or whatever. And they got to pull all these records from different courthouses. It seems like a whole lot of work. And it seems like it's going to be quite a while before he actually gets a license. And uh, based on the uh, comments I'm reading here, uh, because I, I personally don't do trucking. I mean, I follow a few channels that do trucking, and it seems like it pays pretty well. And a lot of people in the comment section uh, are basically saying that, you know, their life has been changed ever since they started doing trucking. Congrats, man. I started trucking about seven months ago, became an owner-operator and a business owner. Some people said they, like, bought a house tough job but pays well so a lot of people are saying really good things when it comes to trucking so why why go from trucking why make all this content you know with that other guy the jackson guy claiming that you bought trucks or looking at trucks getting your cdl your wife is getting a cdl your cameraman is getting a cdl uh, your brother is getting a cdl and the next thing I think he quits for a while and then comes back and suddenly now he wants to do real estate. Like, what is it? Is it going to be a couple of months from now he's going to want to be a pilot next or a nurse? Uh, so this is actually another channel, Provider Grind. And uh, he's actually, you know, he actually dropped a couple of videos a while ago going through the uh, process of starting a trucking company. And it seems like, I mean, I know that there's ups and downs, but again, there's ups and downs in pretty much every single industry, every single job. Um, so I, I, I feel like people just use that as an excuse, the ups and downs or when an industry is going, you know, downhill or whatever, you know, when fuel prices are high, people try to blame that on not starting a certain type of business. So I feel like, again, it's just some people just have all kinds of excuses, but it seems like provider grind has stuck with it. I mean, all his recent videos, he's uh, picking up all kinds of assignments. Seems like he's doing pretty well. So I don't understand. Unless, again, like Tall Guy's just doing all of this for content purposes. You know, this whole trucking thing that he said he was going to do was just all content. And now real estate is just all content because there is no cars on the channel. So he has to move into something else. And that is telling you guys that he's going to start all kinds of businesses. And then I love when he says he's going to unleash the curtain at the right time to share everything with you guys and be transparent. But that never has happened so far. But uh, I wanted to talk.